How do you find your time since you've been here then? It's been great, yeah. Um, everybody's been very welcoming. Um, staff and players have been great, um, and I've really, really enjoyed it. Um, and I've kind of hit the ground running and got some good minutes and stuff, and just want to put my head down and keep working hard. Since you've been at the club, you've been on an amazing run. Do you see yourself being here going forwards? Because the club at the moment looks like it's on an upward trajectory, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, it's really exciting coming in, and it's tough like when the team is playing well, trying to push in and get some starts. Um, but again, like like I said, the, everybody's been playing really well, training hard, um, and the managers put some really strong demands on us. And uh, we just want to keep going and push in, get as many points as we can on the board. Um, but yeah, definitely look to hopefully extend my stay here, and uh, been really enjoying it. What, what, what is your contract situation in the summer? Um, right now, it's just till the end of the season. Um, and hopefully, just like I said, just put my head down and keep working hard and hopefully looking to extend it. Yeah, yeah. have you had conversations with the manager about that? Or what, what, how do you feel about that, about the situation at the moment? Um, I'm just looking to just keep working hard and training and uh, I think the time will come and hopefully we can have those conversations um, in a later day and um, just going to just wait and see what happens. You seem to have had the ground running. How did you manage to keep up your fitness to that level when obviously you didn't have a club for so long? Yeah, I just wanted to really just get home and put my head down and kind of have a relax after I left Ross County. Um, and be fair, um, with my brothers back home in Canada, they they helped me train for a while and uh, I was just probably out every day just just enjoying it and training on my own. Um, and like I look after myself really well off the off the field, um, as you need to do as trying to keep my career going as long as I can. Um, and uh, yeah, I just looked after myself, uh, just fitness in the gym and, and train as much as I could and until the opportunity came to get back in playing. Yeah, a kind of tough time not knowing not when you would, you know, get a chance or...? Um, no, it wasn't a tough time at all. It was just I wanted to get back to my family and stuff and, and settle down and when the time was right and my head was right, uh, I just wanted to get back, get back playing and the manager contacted me and wanted me in straight away and I uh, was really grateful for that. Had you kept in touch with him? And obviously he wasn't in this position until recently, but had you kept in touch with him anyway, you know, through that time? Um, not in touch as in messaging every day, but um, we know that we were on a, like, if I wanted to reach out, um, I know he would he would definitely pick up. Um, but yeah, it was great to hear um, him call me and we had a good chat on the phone and uh, yeah, I came in then the following couple of days actually, it was really quick. Were you in Canada at that point? Yeah, I was in Canada at that point, yeah. Did you, was it out of the blue that you recall? Were you expecting something? Or were you, you know? um, there was a few things on the board um, and I was actually, uh, it wasn't out of the blue, he just reached out and uh, just spoke to me and we had a good chat. Have you worked with uh, Stuart before? How much of a fool was uh, the fact that he was here to Duncan? Yeah, it was definitely great uh, working with him. Uh, he was actually the one that brought me into Ross County um, and worked with him for a few years and it was great. He just puts a lot of demands on you and he knows he knows what I can bring to the table. Um, and I think he knows that, you know, uh, I've been out for a little bit and I think he knows that there's there's more to come for me um, and definitely want to just keep pushing and working hard and hopefully uh, get a good start in the team uh, for the rest of the games. Do you think having that mutual trust makes a big difference, doesn't it? Because you'll feel relaxed, you'll feel relaxed and you both know exactly what's going on. Yeah, definitely. He, he definitely trusts me and um, getting into his training and his mindset in training and what he wants from the players is it's great. I know how he's worked before, and I think that's helped me kind of be comfortable in, in coming here. Having been at Ross County before as well, you'd be well versed with the teams in the league. What do you expect from St Johnston and Saturday? Um, definitely, uh, I really like the league. It's very competitive, and I think it really suits suits my style. Um, I know every game we play is going to be a tough game, and uh, we just got to stick to the, the plan that the managers said. We'll be looking at what they do today and how we can, can work against them. and. Uh, we'll just stick to that and hopefully get a result. Do you feel like you're kind of just been back and roll at this? Do you appreciate it all the more after that spell where you, you, you had to kind of train on your own? Yeah, definitely. Um, just want to just enjoy it. Just enjoying it. It's my job and, and I love what I do. So I just want to just keep keep doing it and uh, just needed that time to just kind of reset. And um, I'm back here now and enjoying it.